can do better than that. Let's bless the Lord in this place. Let's bless the Lord in this place. Let's stand and let's join the praise and worship team in singing praises to our Lord.
us pray. Our God, our rock, our refuge, our resting place, our unmoved rock, and our security. We thank you, Lord, because you are God and you are God alone. We thank you, Lord, for this time and this space. We thank you, Lord, for worship. We thank you, Lord, that you've given us the activities of our limbs to worship you, your Heavenly Father, allow us to use them for your glory, Lord. And Heavenly Father, we thank you for the songs that have been sung. We thank you for the songs that will be sung. And we thank you for the word that will go forth. Holy Spirit, visit us in this place today. Watch over us, Lord. Keep us, Lord. Encamp your angels all around us, Lord. And Heavenly Father, I pray that you would do something special in this place today. But Heavenly Father, we have high expectations. We are in anticipation for what you will do because we know what you have done. And we know, Lord, that you always meet our needs. And so for that, we give you honor. We give you glory and we give you praise. In Jesus name, amen. Amen. The Bible says we will bless the Lord at all times and his praise shall continually be in our mouth. You may be seated. Buenos dias and good morning and welcome to Christ Temple. Welcome to Christ Temple. We are so delighted that we have joined forces this morning to be able to praise the Lord um, and have a great time together. And so I want to welcome you all to Christ Temple. We are a Christ Center Church connecting people to Jesus Christ and to one another. We have a virtual audience as well, so we certainly want to acknowledge those that are on Zoom. We thank you for joining us today. Um, as I always say, we're going to have a good time in here, so it's our prayer that you have a good time in the virtual space. And at this time, we'll ask Bishop to come forward with our morning announcements. Thank you, Minister Daniel. And again, it's a good morning to all. A buenos dias. We praise the Lord for having Pastor Julio with us and his congregation this morning. We are so delighted to be together and to bless the name of our God, to worship him and as our God and our Savior, we are just delighted to come together today in Jesus' name. Again, I want to remind our ladies and uh, members of this congregation about the prayer call that happens every Sunday evening nationally uh, for the UCWM. And then on Monday night, the other prayer call with we are featuring the seven last words uh, from the cross. And that's also a national call. Um, those are happening every every Sunday evening. You are familiar with the uh, contact information. Please don't uh, forget us on Wednesday evening when we have Wednesday in the Word. Uh, I have an announcement here that if you're running low on Wednesday, stop by and be refilled through Wednesday in the Word. I reminded you last Sunday that we worked out our transportation situation with Brian on the first and fourth, and Frank and worse. Frank, is he up here now? Oh, there, uh, not that, this Frank over here. Okay, we have two. Uh, he's dry, he drove today and he'll be driving on the uh, uh, second and fourth, second and third, right, Frank? Okay, we got that wrong in here, thank you. Uh, but he got off to a great start today and we appreciate that so much, Frank. We really, really appreciate it. Please remember that as you give your tithes and offering to designate where you would like it to go so we can get it in the right place. I understand that our women had a great time yesterday with the presentations that were made. My wife has been uh, bending my ear talking about how informative and inspiring, so we... Thanks, Sister Jackie, and all those who coordinate that and make it possible. Again, we're here to worship the Lord. Iglesia is going to come now and minister in music, and uh, we'll go forward. Amen, amen, and amen.
Amen. Good morning. Buenos días. Dios les bendiga a todos. Sean todos bienvenidos en esta mañana. Welcome everybody. It's a pleasure to be here with you guys at, at this morning. And I would like to ask everyone, quiero pedirle a todos que nos pongamos de pie to uh, stand on your feet. Now this morning, it's a morning we're going to worship God with our spirit, with our body, and with our soul. Amen. Hallelujah. There's this song, if you know it, you can sing it with us. It says, um, when I think of his goodness, all he's done for me. When I think of his goodness, and how he set me free. Well, I can dance, dance, dance all night. And every morning, amen. I could dance, dance, dance all night. When I think of his goodness and all he's done for me. When I think of his goodness and how he set me free. Well, I could dance, dance, dance all night. Hallelujah. His goodness and all he's done for me when I think of his goodness and how he set me free I could dance 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 all night all night, all night. All night. when I think of his goodness and all he's done for me when I think of his goodness and how he set me free I could dance 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 all night cuando pienso en lo mucho que Él hizo por mí, cuando pienso en el día que me libero, quiero cantar, 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 cantar. Quiero cantar, 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 cantar. Cuando pienso en lo mucho que hizo por mí, cuando pienso en el día que me libero, quiero gritar, 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 gritar. Done for me when I think of his goodness and how he set me free. I could dance, 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 To him be all the glory and all the honor. Hallelujah. God is good, amen. And his mercy endures forever. Hallelujah. Dios es bueno y su misericordia permanece para siempre. Ahí donde está, lo voy a invitar a que cierre sus ojos. Y adoremos al Señor con todo nuestro corazón. Be the glory to God. Be the glory to God. Be the glory for all the things He has done. A Dios sea la gloria. A Dios. Look 
Alpha y Omega.
Spirit have its way in this place. The scripture is coming from Acts chapter 2, verses 1 through 17. Acts chapter 2, verses 1 through 17. Let's give the praise team a hand clap of praise. We feel the spirit of the Lord in this place. And no scripture is better fitting than that of Acts chapter two, and we'll read verses one through 17. And it reads, when the day of Pentecost had fully come, they were all with one accord in one place. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind, and it filled the whole house where they were sitting. Then they appeared to them divided tongues as a fire, and one set upon each of them, and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak with other tongues as the spirit gave them utterance. And there were dwelling in Jerusalem Jews, devout men from every nation under heaven. And when this sound occurred, the multitude came together and were confused because everyone heard them speak in his own language. Then they were all amazed and marveled, saying to one another, look, are not all of these who speak Galileans? And how is it that we hear each in our own language in which we were born? Parthians and Medes and Elamites, those dwelling in Mesopotamia, Judea and Cappadocia, Pontus and Asia, Phrygia and Pamphylia, Egypt and the parts of Libya adjoining Cyrene, visitors from Rome, both Jews and proselytes, Cretans and Arabs, we hear them speaking in our own tongues the wonderful works of God. So they were all amazed and perplexed, saying to one another, whatever could this mean? Others mocking said they are full of new wine. But Peter, standing up with the eleven, raised his voice and said to them, men of Judea and all who dwell in Jerusalem, let this be known to you and heed my words, for these are not drunk as you suppose since it is only the third hour of the day. But this is what was spoken by the prophet Joel. And it shall come to pass in the last days, says God, that I will pour out my spirit on all flesh. Your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your young men shall see visions and your old men shall dream dreams. This is Acts chapter 2, verses 1 through 17. May God add a blessing to the hearer, reader, and doer of his holy word. You may be seated. What about now? Good? Okay. About, I would say, close to 10 years ago, uh, Pastor Julio came to Christ's temple. Hace 10 años, el Pastor Julio vino a nuestra iglesia. And he wanted to know if the church was available for rent. Y quería saber si estaban rentando el local. We had never considered renting the church before. Nunca habíamos considerado rentar nuestro local. And so I said to him, what led you to this place? Y le dije, ¿Qué te trajo aquí? He said, the Lord told me. Y me, dijo, Dios me dijo. How could I argue with that? ¿Cómo podía argumentar con eso? So for the next four years, the church met here in this building um, every Saturday, Friday, uh, uh, por cuatro años la iglesia se reunió aquí viernes, sábado, domingo. 
We had a great fellowship together. Y teníamos una buena comunión juntos. And finally, we were able to make a building available. Y por fin pudimos encontrar un local para ellos. So we've had a great fellowship across the years. Entonces, hemos tenido una gran comunión con, en los años. We are thankful to recognize him as an officially one of our elders. Y damos gracias porque lo reconocemos como uno de nuestros ancianos. And we're delighted to enjoy this fellowship together. Y nos da mucho gusto poder compartir este tiempo juntos. We're going to ask Iglesia to come and minister once more in music and then Pastor Julio will bring the morning message. Vamos a pedirle al grupo de alabanza una vez más que pase y luego vamos a darle el tiempo a nuestro pastor para que él traiga el mensaje de esta mañana. Can we all say amen? Todos podemos decir amen. amen. Hallelujah.
even when I don't see it, you're working. Even when I don't feel it, you're working. You never stop, you never stop working. You never stop, you never stop working. Even when I don't see it, you're working. Even when I don't feel it, you're working. You never stop, you never stop working. You never stop, you never stop working. Aunque no pueda ver, está sobrando. Aunque no pueda ver, está sobrando. Siempre estás, siempre estás sobrando. Siempre estás, siempre estás sobrando. Even when I don't see it, you're working. Even when I don't feel it, you're working. You never stop, you never stop working. You never stop, you never stop working. Way make miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. for Jesus he can transform every life he can heal any sickness there is nothing and no one more powerful than Jesus he died and he rose again thanks to him he has given us peace he has given us a joy that the world cannot give us Thank you, Lord, for what you have done, for, you, for what you do, and for what you will do. We give you all the glory and all the honor. Praise, hallelujah. Amen. And let's get ready for the word because God is going to do something amazing in our lives. Amen. Espíritu Santo está acá esta mañana. The Holy Spirit is here in this morning. Damos gracias a Dios por su presencia. We give thanks to God for his presence. Me da mucho gusto verlos a todos. I'm very happy to see you all. Que esta mañana decidieron venir a la casa de Dios. And in this morning you have decided to come to the house of the Lord. Dios bendiga a nuestro pastor. Lensing. Our best, our Bishop Lensing. Eh, en sí es 12 años. 
I believe it's been 12 years. Yeah. <laughs> Que Dios me dé el privilegio de conocerlo. That God has given me the opportunity to know you. Para mí y mi familia y la congregación. For me and my family and the congregation. Pastor Lenzin ha sido un ángel de Dios para Pastor nosotros. Pastor Lenzin has been an angel to our lives. Le amamos mucho. We love you dearly. Él mismo no está consciente de la bendición que ha sido para el reino de Dios a través de nuestra vida Maybe you're not conscious, but you have been a blessing to our lives. hace 12 años 12 years ago, venimos unas 40 personas we were 40 people in our church. Eh, hoy entiendo que todo el pasado Now I understand that the past, lo que vivimos o sufrimos what we lived and what we have suffered, era permitido por Dios was permitted by God. Haciendo una transición Para algo mejor Para que sus propósitos se cumplan so En nuestra vida Hasta hoy lo voy a testificar Desde hace 12 años para acá Pastor Lenzi Éramos una sola congregación we Por algunas razones nos quedamos con unos 35, 40 miembros sin templo Without a temple. Eh, tuvimos que hacer servicios en un hogar por tres meses We had to do our services in, in, a, in one of the homes y cuando él dice que yo le dije and when he tells me que God Dios said me trajo acá that God brought me here es verdad it's true porque Dios fue quien nos trajo a este because lugar. God is the one who brought us here de hace 12 años para acá Dios nos ha permitido tener una muy bonita relación hemos ido a varias convenciones y yo hablo muy poco inglés más italiano. I speak more Italian. <laughs> eh, pero en estos 12 años, But in these 12 years, Dios nos ha permitido levantar ocho congregaciones más en Guatemala. God has permitted us to start up eight more congregations in my home city. Dos iglesias más en El Salvador. Two in El Salvador. Tenemos dos iglesias más en El Salvador. We have two more churches in El Salvador. Y el año pasado abrimos la primera iglesia en Belice. And our, last year we opened the first congregation in Belize. El, el sábado y domingo entre ocho días. Uh, in seven days, Saturday and Sunday. Tenemos una convención en El Salvador. We have a convention in El Salvador. Que diera yo porque el pastor Lenzi fuera. I would love for Pastor Lenzi to attend. Van a ir cinco delegados de la congregación para allá. Five members of our church will be attending that convention. Y hace 12 años, localmente en Los Ángeles éramos unos 40 personas. So years ago, we were only 40 people. Estuvimos aquí casi cinco años. We were here for five years. Y ahí eh, Dios nos permitió, eh, por medio del pastor, tener el, el lugar donde estamos hoy. Y yo no sé qué Dios trae con, con nosotros. And I don't know what God has for us. Pero hoy tenemos otro problema. But now we have another problem. Soy el único pastor que que se pone alegre porque no llegan todos a la iglesia. I'm the only pastor that gets happy when not, not all of the congregation attends church. Tenemos un templo con la capacidad de 70 personas. We have a temple that its capacity, its max capacity is 70 people. Y somos ahorita una congregación de aproximadamente 255 personas. And we're a congregation of 250 members. Amen. 
Dios ha sido bueno. God has been good. Quisiera invitarlos el sábado. I would love for you guys, I would like to invite you guys for Saturday. Tenemos eh, el sábado 12 horas de oración. Saturday we have 12 hours of prayer. Desde las 6 de la mañana a las 6 de la tarde. From 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Y a las 7 tenemos nuestro gran servicio. And at 7 p.m. we have our service. ¿Cuánto quisiera que ustedes fueran? I would love for you guys to join us. Pero no tenemos donde sentarlos. But we don't have anywhere where you guys can be seated. <laughs> Dios ha sido bueno. God has been good. Damos un aplauso al Señor. Quiero llevarlos a un texto bíblico. I want to take you guys to the verses. Es la primera vez It's the first time que tengo el privilegio de predicarles. That I have the privilege to preach to you guys. Y Dios Ponía esta palabra en mi corazón. And God placed this word in my heart. Hechos capítulo 2, verso 14. Acts chapter 2, verse 14. Así como está sentadito. And just like you're seated. Quiero que leamos el verso 14 al verso 18. I want to read verse 14 through verse 18. Cuando lo tengan dicen amén. So when you have it, can you say an amen? Dice la palabra de Dios. The word of God says. Entonces Pedro poniéndose en pie con los once, But Peter, standing up with the eleven, alzó la voz raised his voice, y les habló diciendo, and said to them, varones judíos men of Judea, y todos los que habitáis en Jerusalén, and all who dwell in Jerusalem, esto os sea notorio let this be known to you, y oíd mis palabras, and heed my words, porque esto no es tan ebrios. For these are not drunk. Como nosotros suponéis, As you suppose, puesto que es la hora tercera del día, since it is only the third hour of the day, mas esto es lo dicho por el profeta Joel, but this is what was spoken by the prophet Joel, y en los postreros días, dice Dios, and it shall come pass in the last day, says God, derramaré de mi espíritu sobre toda carne, that I will pour out my spirit on all flesh, y vuestros hijos y vuestras hijas profetizarán, your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, vuestros jóvenes verán visiones, your young men shall see visions, y vuestros ancianos soñarán sueños, your old men shall dream dreams, y de cierto sobre mis siervos, and on my men servants, y sobre mis siervas, and on my maid servants, en aquellos días, in those days, derramaré de mi espíritu, I will pour out my spirit, y profetizará. Decimos gracias, Señor, say, you, God, por tu palabra. Habla a mi corazón. Yo recibo tu palabra con gran gozo y alegría. And Amén. Amen. Quiero dejarles esta mañana el tema. I want to speak under the theme. Provocando un avivamiento espiritual. Provoking a spiritual enlightenment. Dicen conmigo el tema. Can you say with me the theme? Provocando. Provoking. Un avivamiento. A spiritual. Espiritual. Enlightenment. Amen. En el año 1906, el pastor William Joseph Seymour. In 1906, uh, Pastor William. Un pastor estadounidense. He was from the US. Fue el que dio inicio a un avivamiento histórico del siglo pasado. He initiated an enlightenment. Y fue aquí a unas cuantas cuadras. And it was right here in a few blocks away. En la calle de Azusa. En Azusa. Los vecinos llamaron a la policía. The neighbors called the police. Porque literalmente se miraba un juego arriba del templo. Because you can literally see fire on top of the temple. Cuenta la historia que llegaban los bomberos. He said that the firemen would come. Y entraban a la puerta. And they would enter the temple. Y eran tocados por el Espíritu Santo. And they were touched by the Holy Spirit. Y hablaban en lenguas. And they would speak in tongues. Llegaban los policías. The policemen would arrive. Y la misma cosa. And it, the same thing would happen. Llegaba gente en silla de ruedas. People in wheelchairs would get there. Y eran sanados. And they were healed. El poder de Dios the estaba ahí. God was there. A su nombre. Yeah. 
hace unos 30 años uh, 30 years ago, entrevistaron al último testigo de ese avivamiento they interviewed the last witness of that revival. una persona ya muy grande de edad that person was very old in age. y él dijo en Azusa sucedieron cosas que mucha gente no sabe and he said in Azusa a lot of things happened that people don't know about y él contó uno de los testimonios and he gave a testimony solamente los que conocemos a Dios lo creen he said only the ones who know God believe it él dice he said llegó un hombre con una prótesis de su brazo derecho there was a man who had a sickness in his arm y le dijo pastor quiero que ore por mí and he said pastor I want you to pray for me yo quiero recibir a Jesús como mi salvador I want to receive Jesus as my savior y el pastor oró por él and the pastor prayed for him y le dijo quítate la prótesis and he said take off that thing you have in y your arm y se quitó el brazo que tenía de de metal y cuando el pastor estaba orando por él and when the pastor was praying for him literalmente literally empezó a crecerle hueso y carne that part of his arm started to grow y se le formó el brazo and his arm was formed again los que conocemos a Dios saben que Dios lo puede God. hacer Hace unos días atrás, a few days ago, nos enteramos de lo que estaba pasando en Kentucky. We found out what was happening in Kentucky. How many of you guys know about that? Jóvenes universitarios, a lot of youth that are in the in the university, que le creen a Dios, that believe in God, que tienen sed de Dios, and that are thirsty for God, comenzaron a orar. They started to pray. Y la presencia de Dios And se manifestó. No tuvieron que salir a evangelizar. They didn't have to go and share the gospel. La gente llegaba. People would just arrive there. Wow. Llegó de otros estados. A lot of people from other states got there too. Motivó a otras universidades. They motivated other universities. Y hoy en día hay gente buscando de Dios. And nowadays there's people seeking God. Porque estamos en el tiempo de la promesa. Because we're in the time of the promise. Dios dijo. God said. En los últimos días. In the last days. En estos días. In these days. Derramaré de mi espíritu. I will pour my spirit. Sobre toda carne. Over all flesh. Dios está dispuesto. God is willing to. Él tiene deseos de moverse en nuestra vida. He has a desire to move in our life. Pero muchas veces nosotros no tenemos ese deseo. But a lot of the times we don't have that desire. Eso hay que provocarlo. We have to provoke that. Tenemos que darle espacio a Dios. We have to give space to God. Nosotros estamos muy distraídos. We're very distracted. Estamos muy enfocados en otras cosas. We're focused on other things. Tenemos la mirada para abajo. We have our sight looking down. Es tiempo que caminemos con los pies en la tierra. And it's the time that we walk pero con la mirada en el cielo. Seeking God. Porque algo grande está pasando en el cielo. Yo no soy profeta. I am not a prophet. Ni pretendo ser And profeta. And I don't pretend to be a prophet. Pero la Biblia me enseña. But the Bible teaches me. Que en cualquier momento de esto. any moment. Cualquier momento de estos. In any given moment, vamos a ver la gloria de Dios. Como nunca la hemos visto. Vamos a ver el poder de Dios. Como nunca lo hemos visto. ¿Cuántos dicen amén? Dios quiere. God wants to. Nosotros tenemos que querer también. And we have to want to too. Dicen amén. Los textos que tenemos como base. The verses we have as base. Cuando vamos al contexto, When we go to the context, el hermano leía, our brother was reading, que el derramamiento del poder de Dios, that the manifestation of God's presence, en el aposento alto, algo nunca visto, is something that had never been seen. La presencia de Dios llenó aquel lugar como God's, este. God's presence filled that place. Aquel lugar era igual que este. That place was the same as this one. Estaban sentados como ustedes están allí. 
They were seated just like you are. De un templo como este. A temple like this one. Tal vez no era tan hermoso como este. Maybe it wasn't as beautiful as this one. Y adorábamos al mismo Dios. And we were, were praising the same God. ¿Qué hace la diferencia? What makes the difference? Corazón. The heart. Hambre de Dios. Hunger for God. Y estaban sentados. And they were seated. Cuando de repente sopló un viento. When suddenly wind came. El poder de Dios descendió. The power of God descended. Y se le aparecieron lenguas repartidas como de juego. And different tongues were distributed. Señal de su presencia. S sign of God's presence. Cuando la gente sintió el poder de Dios. And when people felt God's power. Porque la presencia de Dios se siente. Because you can feel God's presence. Cuando hay presencia de Dios se siente. When, there, when God's presence is there, you can feel it. Ningún ser humano. Not one human being. Puede quedarse sentado. Can stay seated. Puede quedarse tranquilo. Can stay cuando la presencia de Dios cae When sobre God's presence descends. La gente se levantó. People got up. Empezó a danzar. They started to dance. Empezó a gritar. They started to shout. Empezó a decir aleluya. They started to say hallelujah. Empezó a decir gloria a Dios. They started to say glory to God. Woo! Hablaban otra lengua. And they were speaking other tongues. Y no tuvieron que salir a evangelizar. And they didn't have to go share the gospel. La gente venía. People were just coming. Como en Kentucky. Like in Kentucky. Es el mismo Dios. It's the same God. Yo le he enseñado a la iglesia. I have, to, I have taught my church. Un pastor me dijo un día. One pastor told me one day. Pastor Julio. Pastor. ¿Cómo hace usted para que le crezca la iglesia? What are you doing to make your congregation grow? Yo tengo 27 años de ser pastor. I have 27 years of being a pastor. Y no tengo ni la mitad de gente que usted tiene. And I don't have half the people tengo that you have. Tengo un templo mucho más grande que el suyo. I have a bigger temple than you. Y a veces solo llegan dos o tres pelonas. And sometimes digo. only three people arrive. Yo le digo, yo no hago nada. And I told them, I don't do anything. Lo único que hacemos es buscar su presencia. The only thing we do is seek God. En, en la 59. En 59, right, right, right where we are. Solo la gente llega. People just arrive by themselves. Semana a semana. Week after week. Llega gente aceptando a Dios. There's new people accepting God. La gente tiene People are hungry for God. Muchas veces la gente de afuera. A lot of the times the people outside. Tienen más sed que nosotros mismos. Are more hungry than we are. Es tiempo de provocar un avivamiento. De levantarnos. To get up. De decirle Señor quiero más de ti. I want more of you. A su nombre. Ahora qué cosas impide un avivamiento? So what stops a revival? Número uno. Number one. La falta de conocimiento. Del tiempo presente. The lack of knowledge of the present times. La falta de conocimiento del tiempo presente. The lack of knowledge of the present. La iglesia times. tiene que saber. As a church, we have to know. Que como pueblo de Dios. That as God's people. Estamos a punto de subir al cielo. We're about to meet God. Jesús viene por su iglesia. Jesus is coming for his church. Y antes and que before, él venga. And before he comes. Está la promesa de un avivamiento. It's, there's his promise of a revival. De un derramamiento de su espíritu. Y nosotros tenemos que saber eso. And we have to know that. No podemos estar tranquilos. We can't just be quiet. A mí me da tristeza cuando la gente me dice. And very sad when people tell me. Pastor, estoy desanimado. Pastor, I don't have motivation. No me dan ganas de ir a la iglesia. I don't want to go to church. No podemos, no es tiempo de estar desanimado. It's not the time to be es tiempo de estar en el It's juego de Dios. Es tiempo de estar en la presencia de Dios. It's time to be in the presence of God. En el Pentecostés, in the Pentecost, la gente no conocía lo que estaba pasando. People didn't know what was happening. Habían cuatro clases de personas. There was four types of people. Gente que estaba de espectador. People who were just looking. Otros estaban asustados. Some of, some of them were scared. ¿Qué es eso? What's that? Otros estaban criticando. And some of them were criticizing. Esos están borrachos. These people are drunk. Pero había otra clase de personas. But there was another type of people. Los que estaban siendo llenos. Those who were being filled. Los que estaban teniendo una experiencia Those nueva con su presencia. Dale un aplauso al Señor. 
And I'm going to ask you, what type of person do you want to be? Espectador? Do you want to be the spectator? Eres el que está asustado? Are you going to be the one who's scared? Eres el que critica al Are you going to be the one who criticizes? Vale, hermano. Ahorita en, en Kentucky. Right now in Kentucky. Yo podía ver la gente llorando en la presencia. I could see people crying in God's presence. Y los periodistas sorprendidos. And the newspapers, and the newspaper people, they were just recording. La gente necesita conocer que estamos en el tiempo de un avivamiento. Pero necesitamos provocar. Necesitamos orar más. Necesitamos leer más la Biblia. Perseverar más. Yo le he enseñado a la iglesia. Un cristiano that as a Christian, mínimo at least, tiene que orar una hora diaria he or she should pray one hour daily para decir yo soy cristiano. To say that I am a Christian. Dicen amén. La falta de conocimiento the lack of knowledge nos priva de entender lo que Dios quiere hacer it prevents us of knowing what God wants o lo que do, Dios está haciendo. Or what God is doing. Número dos, Number two, la falta del verdadero amor por Dios. The lack of real love towards God. Podemos empezar bien, we can start off right. pero si no cuidamos nuestra relación con Dios, if we don't, if we don't take care of our relationship with God, caemos a una rutina de vida, then we fall into a routine, y perdemos nuestro amor a Dios. And we lose our love towards God. Jesús se lo dice a la iglesia de Éfeso. Jesus told that to the church of Ephesus. Todo el trabajo que ustedes hacen es excelente. All the work that you do is very good. Pero hay algo que tengo contra ustedes. But there is something I have towards you. Han perdido su primer amor. You have lost your first love. Ustedes aman mi nombre. You love my name. Pero no me aman a mí. But you don't love me. Yo, yo le digo a los hermanos. I tell my church. Es como casarme con alguien solo por los papeles. It's like getting married with someone only because you want to be a citizen. <laughs> Así no es. That's not how it is. Tengo que estar enamorado de Jesús. I have to be in love with Jesus. Tengo que ponerlo en primer lugar en mi vida. I have to put God as my first priority. Escuche esto. Listen to this. Porque si Dios no es el número uno en mi vida, If God is not number one in our life, él no puede ser el número dos. He can't be number two. Él no puede estar en segundo lugar. He can't be in the second place. O es el primero, is he either first, o no está. Or he's nothing. Dale un aplauso al Señor. Cuando no entendemos lo que pasa, when we don't understand what's happening. Tenemos un comportamiento indiferente a su voluntad. We have an indifferent, we are indifferent to his will. Esteban lleno del Espíritu Santo. Stephen, he was filled with the Holy Spirit. Dios usó su boca para hablarle a los sacerdotes. God used him to speak to the priests. La gente que entre comillas era espiritual. The people who were the spiritual ones. Esteban decía. Steve would say. Veo el cielo, los cielos abiertos. I see the sky open. Veo a Jesús a la derecha del Padre. Jesus at the right hand of the Father. La gloria de Dios miraba a Esteban y lo expresaba. He was seeing God's glory. Y los sacerdotes en lugar de unirse a, a esa visión. And the priests instead of joining him. Se tapaban los oídos. They would cover their ears. No querían oír eso. They didn't want to hear that. Agarraron piedras. They grabbed stones. Y lo mataron a pedradas. And they killed him. Es cuando desconocemos. That's when you don't know lo que Dios quiere well, God que estemos viviendo wants us to be living. alaban a Dios cuáles son los beneficios de un avivamiento What is the benefit of a revival? rápidamente le hablo de dos I'm going to speak to you quickly about two. número uno Number one. comenzamos a ver cosas sobrenaturales que nunca habíamos visto hay cambios de vida There's a change of life. Regeneración en el ser humano. There can be regeneration in our, hu in our human nature. Ahí en la 59. Right where, where we are right Hemos now. visto milagros increíbles. We have seen incredible miracles. Entre uno que les cuento rápidamente. I'm going to testify about something. 
Todos los que están aquí son testigos de lo que lo voy a decir. All of the church members that are here, they are witnesses of what I'm going to say. Un día pasó un homeless. One day a homeless person passed. Yo estaba en la puerta del templo. And I was at the, in front of the church. Y lo llamé, se me quedó viendo y lo llamé. And I called him. Y le dije, ¿quieres cambiar tu vida? And I told him, do you want to change your life? Y él me dijo, sí, pastor. And he told me, yes, I do. Tengo 14 años de andar en la calle viviendo. I have been homeless for 14 years. Lo abracé. I hugged him. Le soy honesto, olía feo. And if I'm being honest, he was a little smelly. Pero oré por él. But I prayed for him. Y lo bendije. And I blessed him. Aceptó a Jesús como he su salvador. He accepted Jesus as his savior. Empezó a llorar. And he started to cry. Y se fue llorando. And he left crying. No lo volví a ver. I didn't see him again. Un día veníamos de un retiro con los caballeros. One day we were coming back from a retreat. Estábamos en la iglesia celebrando un culto glorioso. And we were in church. We were celebrating a glorious service. Cuando llegó un hermano. When someone came. Bien vestido. And he was well dressed. Se sentó. He sat down. Y cuando dimos unos tiempos especiales. And when we gave a time for people to testify. Él levantó su mano. He raised his hand. Le digo, pastor, ¿me puede dar un tiempo? And he said, can I have a time? Yo le dije, bueno, damos la bienvenida al hermano. And I said, okay, let's welcome our brother. Y él pasó. He passed. Le di el micrófono. And I gave him the microphone. Y se le empezaron a ramar sus lágrimas. And he started to cry. Él me dijo. He told me. No se acuerda de mí. You don't remember me. I said no. Nunca lo he visto. I have never seen you. Pastor. He said pastor. Hace nueve meses. Nine months ago. Se acuerda de un homeless que pasó ahí? Do you remember that homeless person who passed? Ese era yo. That's that was me. Y me dijo. And he told me. Usted oró por mí. You prayed for me. Se recuerda que yo le dije me dijo. Do you remember I told you? Que me iban a deportar y que tenía un grillete acá de migración y usted me dijo que no me iban a deportar And you told me, no, that's not ahí me acordé And right there I remember era él that it was him. usted no sabe pastor, me He said, pastor you don't know. ese día que yo pasé ahí that that day that I passed, yo iba a quitarme la vida I was commit suicide. si usted no me llama And if you don't call me, yo me hubiera quitado la vida I would have committed suicide. Yo perdí mi familia. I lost my family, he said. Perdí mis hijos. I lost my children. Perdí mi trabajo. I lost my job. Ese día que yo pasé ahí. And that day that I passed through there. Yo iba con cáncer terminal. I had terminal cancer. Tenía un mes de vida. I only had one month to live. Ese día que usted oró por mí. And that day you prayed for me. No sé qué pasó en mi vida. I don't know what happened in my life. Seguí mi camino. But I kept walking. Pero usted me dijo. And you told me. Busca una iglesia Look donde se predique a Dios. Look for a church where they preach about God. Ahora yo vivo allá en el monte. Now I live in this ciudad del monte. In the city of El Monte. Me congrego en una iglesia. And I go to a church. Pastor. The pastor. Recuperé mi familia. I recovered my family. Ya no hago drogas. I don't do drugs anymore. Ya no tomo. I don't drink. Ah. Ahora tengo un apartamento donde vivo. And now I have an apartment where I live. Me han regresado mi trabajo. They have given me my job back. Pero lo más lindo de todo, pastor. But the best thing, pastor. Se metió la mano a la bolsa. He put his hand in his pocket. Yo pensé que me iba a dar una mi ofrenda. And I thought he was going to give me an offering. <laughs> Yo tenía orden de deportación. They were going to deport me. ¿Se acuerda del grillete que llevaba? Remember the thing I had in my feet. Y usted me dijo que no me iban a deportar. And you told me that's not going to happen. So, aquí tengo mi green card. I have my green card. Su residencia. <laughs> Soy residente ahora, pastor. Say, I'm a resident now. Tengo a mi familia. I have my family. Pero más que eso. But more than anything. Y eso nos quebrantó. Pastor, ya no tengo cáncer. Pastor, I don't have cancer Dios anymore. hizo un milagro. God mío. made a miracle. In dale un aplauso al Señor. Amén, amén, amén. Oh, dale un aplauso más fuerte a Él. Aleluya. Aleluya. Dale fuerte ese aplauso a Él. A él sea la gloria. A él sea la gloria.
sea la honra Aleluya ¿Cómo no creer en Dios? How can we not believe in God? Dios quiere God wants to ¿Se acuerda cuando Jesús iba y le dice a aquel hombre? Remember when Jesus went and told that sano? guy Do you want to be healed? ¿Se acuerda? Do you remember that story? Jesús le preguntó ¿Quieres ser sano? Jesus asked him Do you want to be healed? Y él empezó a sacar un montón de argumentos. And he started to take out all of his arguments. No tengo quien me lleve al estanque. I don't have no one to put me in the water. Estoy solo. I'm alone. Muchas veces Dios está preguntándonos. And a lot of the times God is asking us. ¿Qué quieres que haga en ti? What do you want me to do in your life? Y uno saca un montón de argumentos. And we take out our arguments. Ahora, los beneficios de un avivamiento. What are the benefits of a revival? Es que empezamos a ver milagros extraordinarios. As we start to see miracles pudiera contarle tantos milagros que Dios ha hecho aquí I could share with you a lot of una vez aquí oré por una mujer que vino con cáncer right here in this place I prayed for someone ella se sentó ahí atrás and she was sitting in the back la mamá de ella vino y me dijo al oído pastor ore por mi hija que her tiene cáncer her mother told me my daughter has cancer can you please pray for her yo me recuerdo que estábamos celebrando Santa Cena and I remember we had communion that day yo soy atrevido I'm a very risky person mi fe. My faith. Yo sé en quién la he puesto. I know who I have placed it in. Y la llamé y le dije, venga. And I called her here and I told her, come. Quiero orar por usted. I want to pray for you. Aquí, aquí en este lugar right se reconcilió. Right here, in this place, right here. Un mes después le iban a operar. A month after they were going to operate her. Le iban a hacer un análisis para empezar las quimioterapias. They were going to analyze her and they were, they were going to start chemotherapy. Yo solo oré por ella nada más. I just prayed for her. Y se fue. And she left. Como al mes me llamó la mamá. Within the month, me her dice, mother Pastor, called me. ¿Qué cree? And she told me, Pastor. A mi hija la, le hicieron los análisis para hacerle las quimioterapias. They did some diagnostics para on ver my en daughter. qué nivel estaba el cáncer. And to see what level of cancer she had. ¿Y qué cree? And what do you think? Los pastores se asustaron y la mandaron a segundos análisis. And they sent her to get more diagnostics. Porque el cáncer no aparece. Because there was no more cancer. No hay cáncer. <laughs> Ella vive a tres cuadras de aquí para allá. She lives three blocks away from here. Eso es lo que hace Dios. That's what God can do. Hay cosas maravillosas que la presencia de Dios comienza a hacer. There are things that God's presence can la do. Segunda cosa que Dios hace en un llamamiento. And the second thing that God does in a revival. Es que no hay que salir a buscar la gente. Is that we don't have to go looking for people. Dios trae a la gente. God brings the people. La Biblia dice. The Bible says. Y en el Pentecostés Pentecost, era tanta la presencia, so presence, la armonía, harmony, la unidad unity, y la búsqueda de Dios God, que el Señor añadía a la iglesia people, los que habían de ser salvos. Church, si nosotros provocamos un avivamiento acá, here, estas bancas no nos van a alcanzar. Se van a llenar. Vamos a tener que poner pantallas allá abajo y poner sillas allá abajo. Yo soy de las personas que digo, si Dios nos ha dado un templo grande, es para que lo llenemos de gente, es para que la gente se salve. Porque si Dios le dijo a Noé, hazte un arca de ese tamaño, porque la vamos a llenar. Yo les digo en el nombre de Jesús. And I'm tell you in the name of God. Tenemos que provocar ese We have to provoke that revival. Y yo creo que a esta iglesia. And I believe that for this congregation. Está por experimentar algo grande. You guys are about to experience something big. A alguien Dios va a usar. God is going to use someone. Para que su poder so descienda. His power can descend. Dicen amén. Can you say amen? Aleluya. Termino diciéndoles. I'm going to conclude with this. No se asusten. Don't be scared. El día que miren al pastor Lenzi danzando. The day you see ah. Pastor Lenzi dancing. Hablando en lengua. Speaking in tongues. Woo. El día que miren a la hermana subiéndose a las bancas y the diciendo. Gloria a Dios.
El día que el hermano que está tocando la batería. The day you see the drum. Oh, va a tirar las baquetas. Va, va. Just stand Poder de Dios. No se vuelva un espectador. Don't be a spectator. El día que la hermana del piano comience a tocar y a cantar en lengua. The day the pianist starts speaking in tongues. No vaya a decir. Don't say. Hermana, esa no es la nota. I don't think that's the note, sister. Eso no lo ensayamos. We didn't practice that. Una se hace un sirón. Alabia a Dios. Worship God. Porque cuando la presencia de Dios cae. Because when God's presence descends. La gente natural no lo entiende. As human beings, we don't, we can't understand it. Porque esas cosas se han de discernir espiritualmente. Because you can only discern that in the spirit. Y aquí hay gente que Dios está a punto de usar. There's people here who God is about to use. Gente que va a hacer algo diferente. People who are going to do something different. Va a cantar diferente. They're going to sing different. Va a predicar diferente. They're going to preach different. Dale un aplauso al Señor. Amen. Woo! A su nombre. Póngase de pie. You may stand up. Aleluya. Levante sus manos. Just lift your, lift your hands up. Si usted lo siente, If you feel it, diga conmigo. Say with me. Señor, yo quiero ser ese. God, I want to be that person. Yo quiero más. I want more. Úsame. Use me. Dígaselo. Tell Úsame. him, use me. Oh, gloria a Dios. Úsame. Gracias, Señor. Aleluya, 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 aleluya. As we close our services this morning, we want to say, we, if, if anyone wants to bring anything to the altar just for a few moments of prayer, we invite you to come forward. If there's anyone who desires to bring anything to the altar for prayer, and we will ask, uh, uh, we'll ask Melvin to give us a closing prayer. Closing prayer. If you have an offering for this morning, the offering baskets are in the rear as you leave today. Uh, so anyone who wants to come forward for a special prayer, we'll ask Brother Melvin to give us a closing prayer. Anyone? The altar is open. We invite you to come. Let's sing hallelujah a couple of more times, and then we'll close, okay? Hallelujah.
wants to come forward. the honor, all the glory. Thank you for who you are. Thank you for what you have done in me. Thank you, Lord, for what you will do. We ask you, Holy Spirit, to guide us and to help us fulfill the purpose that you have established in us. Because you have called us for great things. And we just have to trust the process, even though things may not seem how we might believe that they're going. But we're going to trust, Lord, even if things are not working out. If you have sent us to do something, Lord, it doesn't matter what it is. It doesn't matter what the world might say. It doesn't matter what the devil can throw against us. If you have sent us, Lord, you will be with us. And if you are with us, nothing can be against us. You are the King of kings. You are the Lord of lords. You are the King of peace. You are the one who died and rose again. And we worship you, Jesus. To you be all the glory and all the honor. We declare that a revival is coming. A revival is here. A great awakening is coming for your church. We just have to be ready, Lord. And help us be the person that you want us to be. That we can spread the gospel. We can preach. And we can bring people to you, closer to you. Thank you, Lord for having us all here together. It doesn't matter where we are from, our language, but when we worship, we worship the same King. We worship the same Lord. Thank you, Father, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you.